Hello, good morning. It is Sunday and oh, it's actually New Year's Eve today, which is um, exciting. Tomorrow is officially the beginning of 2018. I'm not doing anything exciting for New Year's Eve in case you're wondering. I am just getting ready. I'm actually going to pick up some AirPods from the Apple store. Um, I bought my mom, if you guys are watching my um, holiday vlogs, I bought my mom AirPods and I tried them on and I kind of fell in love with them. Uh, my mom loves them by the way and she's like not really like a tech person but she loves them. She can work out, they don't fall out of her ear, she kind of sometimes says that she forgets that they're even in there because they're so comfortable to wear and um, I've never tried them on for myself because um, anytime they've been on display it's like hell no am I putting one of those in my ear for obviously hygienic reasons um, but I my mom so obviously I tried hers and I really 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 enjoyed wearing them so I ordered a pair for myself I was gonna just order it and have it shipped to my home but uh, for whatever reason they happened to be available at an Apple store nearby so I ordered them on Friday I meant to go pick them up but I am just getting to it now so while I get ready I kind of want to just give you some updates about what's been happening this week so after I concluded my holiday vlogs, I haven't um, really vlogged throughout the week. Uh, the main reason is because I am not feeling well. And it's not even like I have the flu or something, it's just, I think I've mentioned it before in previous vlogs if you've been like a long time watcher, but I have a condition where I have a tendency to get blood clots and it's usually in instances where you know if I injure myself or if I have like a hormonal imbalance um, I can get blood clots I usually get them in my legs um, it started when I was 16 that's when I discovered I had this condition it's essentially called antithrombin 3 deficiency which means that yeah my my blood just doesn't have as much of the um, natural anticoagulants that uh, normal people have. So my, my blood tends to clot up, especially if like all the conditions are right. So that happened to me and I experienced a DVT, which is a deep vein thrombosis or deep venous thrombosis is what they sometimes call it. So I had to go to the eMERGE because I was experiencing pain in my leg for a few days and if you've ever experienced it, it is a different kind of pain. It feels like a charley horse in your leg that just won't go away. So if you've ever pulled the muscle or if you've ever had a charley horse, it's like like that but it is constant it is persistent it doesn't uh, get any better it's just pain all the time so actually really really hurts that's what I'm experiencing now the only way to treat it and it's not even really treatment I mean there are other ways but they're kind of on the extreme side so what usually people do is take anticoagulants so I'm currently on um, a blood thinner. It's uh, an injectable blood thinner. It's called Fragmin. It is a low molecular heparin and I have to take two needles a day for the next three weeks until I get to see my hematologist because it's the holidays. Every office is closed. That's why I had to go to Emerge in the first place. And that's my little update. So that's kind of why you haven't seen a lot of me, I guess, in the vlogs. Um, it's just because I have been in a lot of pain. It's a little bit better now. Um, it's worse in the morning, like when I get up. It's uh, worse at the end of the day after I've been kind of walking around. Um, it's a kind of a catch-22 because um, if you are stationary or sedentary for a long time, that can help build clots. If you walk around a lot, it's painful. <laughs> so, but you do have to get up and walk because that's how your body naturally absorbs the clots. So the fragment shots that I'm taking, which are the low molecular um, heparin shots, they are to prevent new clots from forming. And basically I just have to wait it out. I have to wait for my body to just like naturally dissolve and absorb the clots that I already have in my leg. Anyway, moving on from that, um, I finally tried the NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer and I really, really like it. It's um, not as drying as I thought it would be. 
uh, it's definitely not as obviously creamy as the radiant creamy concealer but I still really like it I still have a bit of this left um, I actually took the stopper off of it so I could just get the whatever product is left on the side so there's still quite a few uses out of this but I couldn't resist trying this out I've been kind of dying to try it. I do find that using my hands is um, kind of the best way to apply it. And I am in the shade uh, Ginger, which is the same shade I am in, in the uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's like a really, really great match for me. And it's surprisingly a match that works in the wintertime and in the summertime. I feel like in the winter time when my skin is a little bit lighter it's like the perfect match to my skin tone in the summertime it's like a shade lighter which is also nice because it kind of brightens my um under eye area oh i also have another makeup update and it is actually it has two makeup updates one is that i finally finished my chanel bronze universal it took me what year is it now? It's like almost 2018. I think I bought this in like 2011 or 2012. So it took me years, literally years to finish this up. So I'm actually really impressed with myself. I'm almost tempted to just go out and buy a new one, but I have to use up some of my other bronzers before I do that. But this is something I would definitely repurchase again. I just can't believe that I actually finished it up. There's, it, I just feel so proud. My other little, I guess, project pan update is that I finally hit pan on this guy. So on the middle like highlight shade in my ambient lighting palette, I finally hit pan on it. There's still quite a bit of product in there and I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this in the next week or so, probably not, but I'm very excited to finally hit pan on that. Anyway, I am done rambling. I'm going to just quickly do my face. Okay, we are at the mall now, just heading to the Apple store. Sorry, not in focus. I'm um, just like hopping along to the Apple store to pick up my AirPods. Okay, so it was a successful trip to the mall. I got my AirPods, didn't get a bag though. Um, they're quite small. And I also got a new sharps container for all of the needles that I have to take. Oh, stick this bag there. So now we are gonna go to Costco and also Walmart. Um, I, I also was thinking of doing the $20 um, makeup challenge, which is kind of a really old tag video that I never got the chance to do, and I meant to do it a while ago, but I just never did. Um, but it's when you try to do a full face of makeup with $20, which in Canada is pretty hard, um, but it's something that I've been kind of toying with the idea about. So I'm going to scope out the makeup deals at... Um, Walmart today. Okay, we're home. Uh, if you hear a uh, noise in the background, it's because the bow is vacuuming while I sit on my butt just relaxing. I'm not intentionally being lazy. I just have to keep my leg elevated as much as I can, but also walk around so I don't get more blood clots. It's, it's a very fine line. Anyway, uh, no fancy unboxing for the AirPods. Uh, this is the box that they came in. Um, it comes in a little case, which I placed up there. And... Yeah, I actually quite like them. They fit really nicely. I just configured it. So I have configured it to have the right side to be play the next track. So if I double tap on this side, it'll skip to the next song. And then I have it set to double tap on this side to um, activate Siri, which I might change. I might just do like next track here, previous track here. The only downside is that you can't adjust the volume with the AirPods, but I'm actually not wearing my Apple Watch right now, but usually I would be wearing it and I could just use my Apple Watch and I don't really need the phone. So I'm just currently listening, well, it's paused right now, but I was listening to Apple Music because I paid for it until January 12th. So I'm just getting my money's worth and yeah, I'm just hanging out here. I'm doodling in my bullet journal. Um, I'm waiting for my new bullet journal to arrive. So to update you guys on my planner life, I was using the Happy Planner. I had um, a spread up until the end of 2017. So I just used it until the end of 2017, but now I wanna move on to something different. Um, I do have a bullet journal currently. It's one that I bought earlier this year. And I have been using it more as 
a journal and not as a planner because I was using it for ideas and um, notes that I had and just like random things but I want to migrate to using a bullet journal as a planner anyway that's what my day looks like to be honest um, doing laundry cleaning a little bit preparing for the new year staying indoors mostly I also have to wash my car because my car is super dirty Hello, happy Saturday. It has been a while since I've vlogged, but I am feeling better. So today we're doing some errands. I still have to take this tree down. It is January 13th, so time to take that down. I also have to do some like, I guess decluttering. I wanna do a closet clear out and also just tidy up and do some bullet journaling. And I have to go return some Apple AirPods and pick up my glasses. So if you guys uh, saw in one of my like holiday vlogs, I um, got some new glasses from Bon Look and they've been ready for a few days now and I'm actually just going to pick it up today. You can't just like go in and pick it up. You have to like book an appointment with an optician because they, you try it on and they adjust it if it's necessary. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that today. So I got two pairs and I'll show you guys what they look like. Um, but for the AirPods, so I, as you guys know, I picked up some AirPods, but I en ended up finding them at a better deal. Actually, the Bow found them at a better deal from London Drugs. So they were on sale for $199 and also if you use their visa like pay thing I don't remember what it's called it's like it's yeah. kind of like visa checkout so I ended up getting it for $199 minus $20 off so I saved like $45 which is a pretty good deal and they ship really quickly I've never ordered anything from London Drugs before but really impressed so I have to go return the ones I picked up from the Apple store because I don't really need two and that's what we're doing today. Okay, we're home now and I am just like in the process of um, catching up on shows and also uh, updating my bullet journal. But I wanted to show you guys my glasses. So this is one of the frames. I think they're called the Anna style and they're fully rimless and they come in three colorways. So this is the naked. They also have a gold and then um, like a silver one. I went with this one because it just kind of goes um, really well with my skin tone. Uh, I also really, really like the gold one, uh, but it was like maybe a little bit too blingy for me, which I rarely say, but there you go. So yeah, I really like the style. Um, I love the rimless. This is the first time in a, well actually ever, that I went with a rimless style. Usually I really like like the big plastic frame, so this is very different from a lot of the other frames that I currently own, which I like, it sets it apart. And um, yeah, they're really, really light because this is actually a polycarbonate frame, or not a frame, uh, a lens, so they're incredibly light, which is great because I don't feel like they dig into my, the bridge of my nose. Um, and then I also got some sunglasses, which I will show you. Okay, this is how the sunglasses look on. Um, again, I got the polarized frame. Uh, this is the exact same frame as the black ones that I have except the black ones are prescription but not polarized and I think going forward I'll, I'll just go with the polarized lens I actually quite like it I do notice a difference I used to not be able to or just maybe I wasn't paying attention but now I actually do notice the difference um, especially when I'm driving so I really like them I believe this is the rose frame so it's a kind of a um, more of a brown lens and then like a rosy um, frame and the arms and all that stuff but I, again I really like it um, very comfortable to wear and yeah pretty excited about it okay here is how the two frames look so this is my new one and in the um, I guess colorway rose and then this is the black and gold version I think this is um, called onyx but I really like these frames um, I just think they're really nice and uh, I like that they have the nose pads and they're very comfortable to wear. Um, so these ones are non-polarized and these ones are. And I think there's a slight weight difference. The polarized ones seem just slightly heavier, um, but still they're um, pretty comfortable to wear. So I'm definitely going to uh, repurchase this style, this colorway, but with the polarized lenses. The thing about Bon Look is they don't just replace the um, lenses, so you can't just go in and say, hey, can I get new lenses in here? Um, I don't know why they do, don't do that. It's a little bit, um, I guess, environmentally unfriendly, but they, you can only buy like the full lens and frame with them. Um, but probably in the summertime, I'm going to pick up the polarized version of this because I actually really like it. So I also popped into Sephora while I was at the mall picking up my glasses and I found 
something that I'm very excited about. So do you remember a year or so ago, probably like two years now, um, Victoria Beckham came out with a like nail polish collab with Nails Inc. And I meant to get one of the polishes, the, um, I think it was called Bamboo White, but I never did and then it sold out and then, you know, you couldn't find it anymore and I was kicking myself because I really, really wanted to get that color. But when I was at Sephora today, I don't even know how I found it. It's probably just like some leftovers maybe the store had, but they had um, three of each of the shades. So the other one was like a red, and then they also had bamboo white, which I'm so excited about. So I ended up picking it up. Very excited to use it. I'm gonna probably take this off, which is from Julep, and um, wear this one, but I'm very excited about it. This box has definitely seen better days, um, but the nail polish looks really pretty. Okay, here she is. And this bottle feels so um, luxe. It just is heavy, it's glass, it's, you know, it has a lot of weight to it, it just feels really nice. Um, but this is what the polish looks like. So Nails Inc, Victoria Beckham, really pretty. Uh, again, it is the Bamboo White. And I'm really excited to have found this. I, it was not on sale though, so it was regular price, so not a great deal. But um, yeah, I thought I would never see this polish again, so I'm very excited. Also, on a side note, Sephora is doing this huge campaign about hydrating your skin. And so they had um, a booth where you could test to see the hydration on your skin. So I am in the 43 to 45 range, and I believe it's out of 100 or 99. So not bad, I am, I think she said anywhere from 40 to 60, don't quote me on that, is normal combination. And I guess maybe anything lower than 40 is dry and then over 60 is, I don't know, oily? So yeah. Okay, here's a quick little look at the after. Um, I didn't get rid of as many clothes as I wanted to, but I did declutter um, quite a few things, mainly sweaters. So my setup is just like shorts and miscellaneous stuff up here, denim, khakis, this is where I stock my sweatpants and Lululemon pants. Um, here is blazers for work. So these are waistcoats, blazers, um, a couple of dresses, cardigans, um, more cardigans. And then here I have blouses. I also have some sweaters um, hung up here also. And here I have um, like dress tops and uh, blouses and things like that. In this tower, I have more sweaters, so just some miscellaneous sweaters here. Some, I kind of categorize the sweaters by almost like material. So these are like some thicker sweaters. These are thinner ones. These are all actually from Zara. Some of the short sleeve ones that I really love and then some three quarter sleeves. These are all my cashmere ones, actually not all of them. I am doing like a load of cashmere in the wash right now. Here are some more sweaters. So these are more kind of like my cable knit sweaters. And then down there are some tops. So some heat tech shirts, um, miscellaneous shirts kind of at the very bottom just like plain shirts that I usually use for layering. And then over here I have bottoms. These are usually where I put all of my kind of work wear bottoms. So here I have trousers and then skirts. So overall I'm pretty happy uh, to have decluttered a little bit, not as much as I want to. I'll probably do maybe another one in the spring. A lot of these tops are not necessarily winter wear. Um, they are 
like spring and summer wear so I didn't want to declutter those too prematurely um, I mainly wear obviously sweaters in the winter time and that's why I have a huge hoard I could definitely um, declutter some more sweaters but I'll get to that later for right now, I'm just uh, pretty happy with just having everything tidy again. It's another Saturday and I just got home from doing a bunch of errands. Today is not really a big project, but I'm going to be redoing my closet. So last weekend, I decluttered a bit and there's a lot more that I could probably declutter, but like I mentioned, just gonna wait a couple months till it's spring and then redo the declutter. But today, I'm actually going to change up the whole aesthetic of the closet by replacing the current fixtures with ones that I got from Ikea. So this is what the closet looks like now. I still kept it fairly neat, pretty impressed with myself. So all of these fixtures here, aside from the like bookcase, technically it's the Billy bookcase from Ikea in the corner, is from Home Depot. And while it is functional and it served me well, I am not a huge fan of the wiring. Because, as you can see, I kind of had to make shift some... This is actually wrapping paper. Because if you were to lay anything flat on here, because it's wired, um, it uh, just doesn't look very well. It comes out all wrinkly and wavy. So, you can get a system that has just like the plain shelf. But that system doesn't have as nice of a hanging space, which is really primarily what I use um, this closet for, is to hang a bunch of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all of these out into the Algot system for my key. I already have an Algot system currently, and it's in my beauty room closet. So this is what the Algot system looks like. So it's very similar, but just to me, it's a little bit more functional. So that's what like the clothes rail looks like. These are the shelves. You can get different size shelves. Um, you can get baskets and you can also get pant hangers, but I just like the simple clothes hanger and shelf system. So what I'm gonna do, because this up here, I'm actually gonna declutter all of this. I went through it the other day and I realized I rarely need any of these. So I'm going to get rid of all of these boxes so I won't need that, that shelf space. So I'll be able to utilize these shelves and this system in my closet. So it's not really that much of an added cost. And then instead, I just got shorter versions of these um, wall uprights. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, add another shelf so that this doesn't look so cluttered, add two more wall uprights for baskets like those so I can just rearrange some things. And that is the plan today. So it's gonna take a little bit of work, probably a couple hours at least, but I am very excited to see what it will look like. And I think it's also gonna just make my beauty room closet look a little cleaner and also make my my clothes closet look a little cleaner so I'm very excited so far I am essentially just clearing this room out so I've taken all of the shelves down with my makeup and I've just kind of stored them on my desk for now and then I'm going to um, bring all of these down take this all apart and then we'll work on the closet <laughs> successfully removed all of the shelves. I just need to go get a drill, unscrew the, um, I guess the rail up here, and then all three of these, because these three are actually going into the clothes closet, and then I have shorter ones to go in this closet. Okay, closet is empty, and this is how the um, racking, or I guess, well, we'll just call it a racking system, so I think we got them from either Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, they're not inexpensive, but they're also not as expensive as like a fully customized closet. And this is such a small space and this is in our forever home, so I didn't really want to spend a lot of money. So these are the two different um, wire shelves that they have. So this one, as you can see, has um, like a specialized system so you can actually hang hangers on here. On this version you'll notice that there is this uh, welded piece here so you can hang things on here but in terms of being able to slide it all the way down you can't really do that. Um, also because these come in like really long pieces they come in like six foot pieces I think you can basically customize it to whatever size you want as opposed to the IKEA one which only comes in three different lengths and a few different depths. 
You also have to buy these stoppers, which are individual, and they tend to fall off, so you gotta super glue them on. And the purpose of that is because if you take these off, um, it's actually a really sharp, jagged edge, which will, one, hurt you, and two, ruin your clothing, so you do have to get these. Also, they act as a stopper for the hanger, so when you have something hung, uh, it won't go like past this point. I'm sure you guys know how closets work, but I thought I would just explain that. So this is a Home Depot setup, and we're gonna switch it to an Ikea one. One because had I known that that IKEA Algot system existed before we installed these, I probably would have done that first, but I didn't really think they had anything like that. Whenever I think of IKEA wardrobe systems, I think of like the big uh, PAX wardrobes. I don't really think of like this kind of customizable system, which is my mistake for not doing my research 150%. Uh, this was just kind of the best deal and the most accessible at the time, I guess. You know, we've been in this house for like three Three, almost four years now a while so um, I know what I like and I know what I don't like and I'm not a huge fan of these anymore so I want to change them up Okay, progress is happening behind me. I have secured the suspension rails to the wall. I have hooked the upright rails, all four of them. I just need to drill them in once I figure out uh, the spacing, which has to be exact because otherwise I won't be able to use those shelves. Hours later, because I got a bit distracted catching up on the TV show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I am finished my closet. I actually found that I had more space even though technically the shelves are shorter than my old ones, I have more space. So I kind of had to space some things out a little. This is how it looks. It might not look too different to you guys, but uh, to me it's actually quite different. I love these shelves. And now I can um, sort my cashmere sweaters on these shelves. Before I did not want to put them on the wire rack because one time I actually pierced a hole through one of my cashmere sweaters because the like end cap came off and um, my sweater snagged on it. So I'm very happy to be able to store my sweaters on these shelves now. So that's essentially what I have done. I've kind of rearranged everything. I still have like my sweatshirts on the top. Um, but I've moved my denim all the way over there. I feel like they just sit better on the Billy bookcase. And then I moved my sweaters over here. My blazers are still over here. My work pants and skirts are still over there. And my blouses are over here. So overall, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I have not had a chance to do the beauty room closet yet because it is uh, like... 8.30 now, so didn't quite get to it. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But like I said, very happy with how this turned out. It's Sunday, day two of my little mini closet reno. I guess it's not really a reno, it's more of it, just a change up. Anyway, just uh, came home from the gym and I'm actually having the bow help me with my beauty room closet just so that we can finish it a little quicker. <laughs> So this is a closet progress. All of the rails are up and the shelves can be put up, but I can't uh, really do anything until all of this dries. So this is um, some drywall compound, some just to fix up the little spots and drill holes that were there previously. So I have to let this dry. It's pink now. You'll know it's dry because it'll dry clear. And then I have to sand it. But I want to make sure that all of that stuff is done before I actually start putting stuff on because it gets very dusty. As you can see, I have like a bunch of, well, maybe you can't because it's blurry, but there's a bunch of dust going on right now. So I want to do that before I start putting stuff on here because it's just going to be very messy, but looks good so far. In the meantime, I am going to tackle this situation. Um, of course, this is just drill bits, so that is easy. It's going back into the garage, but these boxes have whatever miscellaneous stuff in them that I'm going to go through. So this was a box from, I think, Net-A-Porter. I, I bought a pan bag, and that's the box that came in, and I think inside there are just like various amounts of makeup bags, but if you look at the thick layer of dust on there, uh, I haven't reached for anything in there in a really long time, so everything can pretty much be decluttered. I have some shoe boxes, my old <laughs> iPhone case, which again, have not reached for based on the thick layer of dust. I'm also going to recycle this Apple Watch uh, box because I don't know really why I kept it. This is um, 
the box that my uh, Canada goose jacket came in can also be recycled and then we'll go through the rest of that stuff. I also have a bunch of boxes here that I need to break down and recycle. So a bunch of shoe boxes, which I don't really need to keep and just some, some miscellaneous stuff here. Okay, the area has been patched up and sanded. I do have to put some paint over these spots because you can tell the difference <laughs> between obviously the shades, but uh, that doesn't preclude me from setting this up because um, painting isn't really that messy of a business. Um, but yeah, I have to go ahead and vacuum all this stuff now. Okay, this is how it's looking. Still a work in progress. That is, I am 99% sure, not staying. Um, I realized that I wanted to add more shelving because I want to move some stuff from my Billy bookcases to here. Um, I kind of want to move anything like beauty related into this closet. So I am going to add a few more shelves here, probably one more at the top and then three or four over here. But I don't feel like making another Ikea trip this weekend. So I'm just going to wait till next time. In the meantime, I am going to put these baskets up here and start moving products that maybe backups or things in boxes and miscellaneous stuff into these baskets and ultimately they will be on shelves in here. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I decluttered a few of these products. I'm actually gonna do another like makeup declutter because there's a few products in here that I have not touched since my last declutter so um, I can probably get rid of it. And yeah, I really like how it looks. I feel like there's too much of a gap between these, so I don't know, I might rearrange some things, maybe move some things down, but overall I like the clean aesthetic. Okay, I just moved this one shelf down and I really like it. I feel like it looks a little bit more purposeful when there isn't that uh, gap between the shelves and it also leaves room for one more at the top, so I'm thinking I'll get five more shelves, so one on this side and then four on this side or maybe one and three. I guess it really just depends on what I have to store on these shelves. Anyway, that is where I'm going to end this vlog. So you got a little bit of everything, I guess, a quick little update on me, um, some decluttering. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this first vlog of 2018 and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.